Now to New Hope for a woman attacked during a violent carjacking we told you about in Orange County. Deputies say the teenage suspect took off with her two, car, two dogs in the car, but now, days after it happened, one of those dogs has been found alive. And now her friends are hoping the other dog is still out there as well and that you can help get results and find him. News 6 reporter Brittany Harris is live along OBT for us this morning right near the Orlando Apopka Airport. And Brittany, that's where a good Samaritan found that one pup, right? Yeah, that's right, Justin. One of the dogs was found over here right nearby the Apopka Airport, about a mile and a half where that carjacking first happened. Sadly, uh, the dog was hit by a car, but is said to be okay and is going to recover just fine. Unfortunately, though, that other dog is still missing. After her dogs disappeared during a violent carjacking last week, Eileen Pagan has been reunited with her chihuahua. He was found wandering around the Apopka Airport on Sunday. A good Samaritan spotted the animal and took it to the vet. It appears he was hit by a car, but is going to be okay. Eileen's other dog, Frankie Ray, is still out there. The entire ordeal first happened at this gas station when a 14-year-old boy asked Pagan for a ride. Out of the kindness, goodness of her heart, she complied. She said she would take him to this particular location. At some point on the way to wherever he asked her to take him, uh, he, he uh, carjacks her, he beats her, he pepper sprays her, kicks her out of the vehicle and then takes off in her vehicle. Both dogs were trapped inside the car. Deputies eventually caught up with the suspect, but the dogs were nowhere to be found. Completely confesses to carjacking her, everything he did. However, we do not have information that he would give us regarding the whereabouts or condition of the dog. Sadly, this isn't the boy's first run-in with the law. Deputies say he's connected to several other carjackings in Apopka. And again, Eileen's other dog, who is described as a white poodle, is still missing. His name is Frankie Ray. They think he might be wandering around the airport since that's where the Chihuahua was found on Sunday. If you do see this dog, be very careful. They think he's probably traumatized after everything that happened, so he might be scared. But again, the dog is described as a white poodle. Back to you. Brittany Harris, live for us near Apaka. Thanks.